Hello folks. Condensation is a real problem in the van for everybody this time of year. And a while back I saw a video where somebody in an old house used bubble wrap to help defeat condensation and to keep more heat in their house. So I thought I'd give that a try in the van. And this is the story of how we got on. We are Carol and Ken and we like touring in our little red camper, a tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We mostly wild camp and like to show the scenery, van life, food and a bit of history. People tell us that we're relaxing to watch, so give us a try and see if you agree. If you do, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper. If you're interested in anything we use in the van, then just click the affiliate link in the description. Welcome back to the channel. It's the 28th of November and it's the night after Storm Arwen wrought havoc in Scotland. And what remains of that storm is now on its way down to the south. We're on our way up to Fell Beacon, our favourite testing spot, to see if bubble wrap really could help to reduce or eliminate condensation in a van. Fell Beacon is 711 feet tall and it sits in the middle of the South Downs near to the town of Lewis. We know we're going to get high winds up here um, and it is currently forecasting snow so we hope that happens. I may put out a shorter version of this video for those people who don't follow the channel but who might just want to know about bubble wrap and condensation. Here we are again. We like this spot a lot. Terrific views, uh, plenty of other campers around and we've never been bothered here yet. I think they were here last night. Yeah, I would imagine so. If they were, then I'm sure they have had a pretty rough night. Right, which way is the wind coming? I've parked up with our nose facing into the wind so that the wind slips over the bonnet and roof. And we're pretty level and slightly nose down, so good position for sleeping. Winter is back, so we'll be keeping the roof down. So as you can see we've got condensation forming on the windows already and um, as we go through the evening that's going to get progressively worse and turn into actual drops of water which will then begin to run down the window and collect at the bottom. Once you get moisture on a window the bubble wrap will naturally cling. Now if I touch here it's icy cold, if I touch here it's warm and so there's a significant temperature difference. For anyone who doesn't know condensation occurs when moist air meets a cold surface and when it does it transfers the water to that surface. Anybody inside the van is constantly breathing out moisture and also it's generated by cooking and sometimes your heating. Charlie's made the tea, haven't you, Charlie? I have. Just getting that ready with some washing up bits for it. We'll put the bubble wrap in a little bit later, but first we're going to have some lunch. We actually need a little bit of condensation for the bubble wrap to work. I'll show you a few shots outside. Um, the images are going to be a little bit bumpy because the wind is shaking the camera at the moment. Get a nice mobile signal up here. The guy behind us has got his Honda generator out, but we can't hear it in the van. That's the view towards Seaford Head. And this is our personal windsock. The focus really can't cope with all these birds playing in the sky. That's Lewis in the distance there. And we can just make out Lewis Castle in this shot. 
There's a few brave souls out for a walk, but it really is bitingly cold today. I certainly wouldn't want to be walking without a hat. Boy, it's cold out there. Just been out there taking a few shots. And it goes right through this jumper. I bet it does. Yeah. It's not the best. So I'm going to fry up these pancetta and then I'm going to scramble up some eggs. Hopefully it'll all fit in the ridge monkey. And then I'm going to put them into some wraps and toast them. So let's see how these windows fog up as Carol starts cooking. I tend to sit down when I cook, when the roof's down, but Carol always likes to stand. Shape, tuck in, grip, roll, and just keep tucking it in as you roll forwards towards the top. Check out all that condensation. Very tasty, Charlie. We need some condensation on the windows for the bubble wrap to cling to. So once the washing up is done, we can put it in. When we're traveling, we're thinking we're just gonna roll this bubble wrap up and keep it tucked behind each curtain. So this bit of um, bubble wrap has not been cut to size because we're trying an experiment with having an overlap at the top. That's it. You can see as Carol presses that to the glass, how it's Just gripping it. really easily. Yeah, sticks so easily. And of course this then becomes a vapour barrier, which is why no more condensation can form against the glass. This bit is not needed now, so we just take that test bit down. And as you can see, as I pulled that off, there is still a clear patch, which was behind it. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trapping oh, we want some warm air against it. There's a technique to doing this in there and I haven't discovered it yet. That's better. And because we didn't have a big enough piece, we had to do it in two strips. The roll we bought wasn't wide enough. No, so ours was only could, half a metre. Let's see if we can source some wider. Yeah, and also, this works, I don't think this it. is the best bubble wrap. Not very I think good you quality. want um, bigger bubbles. Bigger bubbles e equals bigger air gap, more effective insulation. Yeah. We don't go in and out these doors, do we, when we're camped? Not once we're set up for no. the night, no. So they're all in place, and what I do like is that you still get natural light coming through. People can't see you from outside, but you are still able to recognise people and vehicles outside your van. So we're just chillaxing up here at Fell Beacon. 
You haven't got any heating on, have we, Charlie? No heating on. Got all our jumpers on, though. So what's the scores on the doors on the thing down there? So it says inside is 12 degrees and yeah. outside is 3 degrees. We've got no heat on. We're just testing what it's like. Mm. See how cold it gets. So the temperatures just dropped below 11 degrees in the van now so we just put the heating on it is so windy one outside now isn't it charlie off it in the van a good and we've got a big van next to us but we can't see because we've got someone's put bubble wrap all over <laughs> the bloody windows it sounds bad but it's cozy warm in here Warm enough. Yeah, it's nice. It's comfortable. Look how many layers I've got on. Yeah. Well, you need layers, don't you? Keep yeah. yourself warm. That's right. It's dark outside now, so we've put the front curtain in as well. So it seems to be maintaining 14 degrees now, and the heating is on its lowest possible setting. So it's doing pretty good. And at the moment, I think that bubble wrap. Is making a big difference, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Keeping the heat in as well. I think it's well. It's definitely keeping some heat in as well. Mm. And helping the condensation. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent doing that. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens now that we've put the front curtain up. Yeah. It should make it even warmer. Even warmer. Yeah. Being shaken around like little rag dolls at the moment, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, <not bad. laughs> I'm yeah. going to cook your tea soon. So we've put the camper van back in dinner mode now because I've got to make the dinner. Mode. I'm making you a lovely noodle chicken broth, aren't I, Charlie? Yes. Somebody wants to know if pacifying you with jam always works. I think it does, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's only dodgy when we've got no jam, isn't it, really? Well, yeah, so you better not do anything wrong tonight, then. No. Right, the noodles and the veg are in, and I've just sprinkled some of our chicken stock on the top. So I'll make sure those veggies are really nicely cooked, and then add the chicken in, and then thicken it up. Sorting because the chicken stock is salty, but I think I'll put a bit more water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get the washing up done and then we watch a movie, eh, Charlie? Keep warm, eh? Yeah. What's the weather doing? So it's currently two degrees outside at the moment, but feels like minus four. Right. And by seven o'clock in the morning, it's going to be feeling like minus seven. Mm -hmm. We've got a light chance of some light rain all through the night. We've got winds currently at 28 miles per hour, mm -hmm. gradually decreasing, but currently gusting at 40 miles an hour and gusting at 43 miles an hour at one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Time to make the bed, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah.
It's 3.36 in the morning, it's getting a little bit cold in here. I've just woken up and I just checked the temperature and it's only four degrees in the van. Four degrees in here and it's zero degrees outside. We've got a red flashing light on the old heating. Watch carefully and I'll show you how to reset this. Sorry. First, set everything to zero. Now turn the heating dial to maximum. Turn the control dial through its settings with brief pauses backwards and forwards until the red light extinguishes. Once the red light is out, turn the control to heat. Oops. I don't think I caught, I might not have caught that on film because I was too busy concentrating. I'm having trouble hearing the fan because of the wind outside. You can hear it, can't you? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get a green light coming on in a minute. Um, I wonder why it went out. Um, it could be something to do with the wind. I think if it's the wind is very strong, it can sometimes blow it out. We're waiting for that green light to come on and it's blowing out cold air at the moment and when it's ready it will kick in with heat and that green light will come on. Can you hear the fan or not? I can hear the fan going, yeah. Can't hear any heat coming out though. No, nor can I. There is a very different sound when it's producing heat but we might not be able oh. to hear that with the wind. No, it hasn't. There's no... Oh, oh now it has. So the green lights now come on, and it means we've got heat. So Charlie Brown, you've got heat again. Yeah. Well, I hadn't even noticed it was that cold oh, until getting... you said. Yeah, but... I was thinking, blimey, it's cold outside Ooh. the bed. I put Ooh. my arm out and yeah. rested it on the bed, and I thought, blimey, Ooh. this um, quilt is really cold. OK, well, it's back to bed then, isn't it, Charlie? Right, it's 10 degrees in here now. So I'm now going to turn this down to its normal setting. I always pause briefly to hear for when the heat goes off. Leave it on 7 o'clock I think. And then that should hold a temperature in here of about 15 degrees. Which is just right for sleeping. Okay, do you want to unlock the doors? Yeah, I can never look outside. Whoosh. See you in a minute. Very easy to see the bubble wrap on the front windows, but on the dark windows you can't notice it at all. Beautiful morning, shame about the wind. It's packed away. <coughs> I'm going to take these ones down first. So these ones are the weakest that worked, aren't they? But look, there's the... You can clearly see we've got... That's what it used to be like. That's what it would be yeah. like. And here... This well, it would actually any... be worse than that. Yeah. The drops would be much bigger. That's just the moisture that was trapped behind the yes. plastic. Yeah. So, pretty pleased with that. Yeah. Um, Going forward, what I might be tempted to do, instead of trying to do it in one piece, is do it in two halves, yes, so that it fully yeah. makes contact with the glass. Yeah. But that is a big improvement. Well, so, just, just roll them, them up. Yeah. Um, the fact that they're going to be wet inside actually means that they're all ready to stick to the window, yeah. even if it's not... Yeah. Um, what you know got a lot of condensation on yeah. so as you can see here we're already beginning to get a build up of moisture yeah. um again but uh which is why there's no point taking these down until you're just about ready to go but on that window pretty pleased now let's do this window behind you first now the big difference here down here it used to pool with water so this bit here 
after a very cold night would sort of be full of water where the condensation has gone down. So if you peel that off, Bonnie, and just pull it out one way, that's it, pull it out. So again, we just got, there's no water, there's no water there, inside. Like so that has cured that. Yeah. Much less than they used to be. Much less. So again, I'm pleased with that. So we've got condensation here yeah. where there's been no bubble wrap. No bubble Quite wrap. Bad. Yeah, all along here. Well, it's touched the window. That's pretty darn good, isn't it? It's on the window. It's better than it used to be. Let's so get that off. Yeah. It's hardly any. That worked better than I thought, actually. I was expecting that window to be slightly worse. So these windows would normally be the worst, wouldn't they? Because this is right by our heads where we're exhaling all the moisture. And as you can see, there's hardly any. Yeah, you deal with that. <clears throat> and again, no pooling it's in the bottom. The edge where it wasn't sticking yeah. to the window. Hey, I'm really pleased with this. I'll take this one off. And that's pretty darn good. Another good result. Okay. Normally we both do this, but we can't do it and film, so you film and I'll just take it down. So that's in the window and there we are and it is much better because normally it's full of these big it's completely covered in um, these well you can see where it wasn't touching that's what it's normally like go too close to be out of focus that's it that's what it's normally like here fogging up all, yeah. already aren't we so which is why i didn't want to so do it until cold. the end it's so freezing well this is a really good test because it yeah. feels like minus seven out there yeah so normally it wouldn't be this cold um right i don't know if i'll be able to do this just tip it down to the blade now normally if we're doing this there'd be a ton of water coming off this blade into the cloth and it would all drip all and down all the windscreen and all of our windows with one cloth and there's still not enough moisture in there to actually wring out and normally i would wring this cloth out two or three times um, just on the front window alone so I think it's worked really well. I can recommend trying this. Are we ready? Yeah. We'll take this and we'll go our way. So people turning up on a Sunday morning for walks. Yeah. It's going to be a lovely day. Clear your way. Yeah. We're lucky having this place on our doorstep really, aren't we? Sorry. So my conclusion is bubble wrap does actually work. It's very cheap, easy to obtain, and it's so cheap actually that if it starts to get a bit grotty, you can just throw it away and buy some more. We bought a massive big roll for about 15 quid uh, on uh, Amazon. Uh, next, we'll probably try bigger bubbles because that creates a bigger air gap uh-oh we've got our box is still out there with the uh <laughs> that gets the temperature for the outside oh all right then so it's pretty secure where it is but i'll pull I it hope so. it's safe <laughs> good job we've not been around any big corners no i don't think it could Let's fly see. out because Let's of going around a corner yeah it's actually trapped between the um, Wiper blades, wiper blades and it in. Bonnet. Um, for a second. Now let's see if she can get it out. Yeah. 
So you had a hard time getting it out, didn't you? Quite secure. Quite secure. Yeah. Okay, onwards and upwards. If you like this video, then please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.